hopefully we get one more shot, we get a, a bye, and we play here again. But if not, I mean, I, 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 owe, I owe everything to this place. I mean, like you said, I've been here six years, been through hard times, been through the best times, and I mean, I, I've got no complaint, and, and I love it. That game-winning score, man, what's going through your mind after making that catch? Oh, it's, uh, I mean, just celebrating with, with the people on the field and t teammates on the side and for the fans, and it, it, was, it was a great feeling. Crazy game, though. I mean, you guys didn't play the way you're capable of playing. Right. Um, is that disappointing considering, I mean, you obviously still get the win and you take it, but is there a kind of, in the back of your mind, you really would have liked to make a better statement today? Oh, definitely. I mean, you saw first half we shot ourselves in the foot or we fumbled on the 10-yard line. We got in the one-yard line, couldn't get it in, and we threw a pick six. But, uh, I mean, hey, I, I can't ask for anything more than what our team did. We came out and fought in the second half and maybe won. I mean, you guys make a a strong case for a national seed in your mind. Can you kind of explain why you guys deserve a national seed? I mean, I, I, we only got D1 losses. I mean, when when it came down to when we needed to win, or I think we won in a, in a I mean, a, in a manner that you can't question that we, we, we would have, it was close, but I mean, it, it's it's just a great feeling and I, and I hope we get the respect that we deserve. What's it been like watching this program grow from where it was to where it is now? It, unbelievable. I mean, we, we came from New Balance jerseys to Nike jerseys to grass with holes every 10 yards, to turf, to fan. We had about 300 fans in my freshman year, and now we got a couple thousand in there, and I mean, it, it's just an awesome feeling. Um, you know, the team really like helped me out a lot. I played a terrible first half, made a lot of you know mental, physical mistakes, and um, you know that's a good team over there, and uh, the team really like you know helped me out, stayed you know positive, and we just came out and were able to finish them in the second half. Pretty cool for you to get that game-winning first down. Especially, like you said, you had a tough first half. You made some plays, but but to kind of be the guy that gets over that first down marker to seal it and to seal the first ever outright championship here at this school, kind of take us through that emotion and what you were going through, what was going through your mind at that point. I mean, I honestly didn't care who got it. I was just trying to execute the play, and uh, I saw a little hole, so I just dove in there trying to get that first down just so we can you know get out of here. Because, like I said, that, that was a very good team on the other sideline. What about that last touchdown you threw? In your mind, was the game over? Did you have that much confidence in your defense? Or I mean, you know, I do have a lot of confidence in our defense, but that, like I said again, that's you know that's a very high octane offense over there, and uh, you know we were we thought our defense was going to stop them, but we were ready to go score again if they didn't. Just being outright Big South champs, I mean, it was a major accomplishment last week to play, which is the first ever spot in the playoffs for this program, but the first ever outright championship for this school, and also the first outright championship in four years in this league. When you accomplish history, I mean, how much do you appreciate at the moment versus how much do you anticipate appreciating when the season goes? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't know how much I appreciate it, but I think, you know, we're going down the history books at CSU, so that's pretty cool. As a whole team, we, uh, you know, done something that's never been done here before. And um, we're just excited to go out now and keep playing and see where, how far we can take this thing. This means everything. Um, it's just, it's, not, it's kind of a euphoric feeling. It's not even, it hadn't really hit me yet, but, uh, you know, it. It's like all our dreams at the beginning of the season came true. You know, we went undefeated in the conference. We're going to the playoffs. Like, it's just a euphoric feeling. Significance for you being here when, when it was some tough times here to seeing being outright Big South champs for the first time in school history, um, first outright conference title in this league in four years. So to be a part of that and to see where the program has come, how do you explain to people how significant this is, how amazing this is? Uh, it's, it's unexplainable. You can't explain it because the only way that you can truly understand it is having lived all four years through it, through the ups and through the downs and through everything. Like, that's the only way you can explain it, so I really can't explain it. It's unexplainable. You guys uh, were able to really well play pretty, play pretty well defensively, minus one or two plays. Um, was this one of those mental challenges for the defense that even though you guys were playing well, the game was close and there were a lot of points on the board? Definitely, definitely. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of telling everybody to keep their heads up, you know. And um, we got put in a few bad situations, but it's okay. Our job is to stop them. So, and uh, at the end of the day, we went back to the uh, fact that we um, that it's our job to stop them. It's our job to get the ball back. That's what they always tell us every day. So, that's how we kept our heads up through those uh, rough times. Why do you guys deserve to be a national seed? Uh, because I feel like we've earned it. Uh, we've beat the teams. We've beat the number one team in the nation. We've beat, well, Liberty was ranked earlier. Um, we played great against everyone. Our defense was playing really good. Our offense is playing really good. I think we deserve it. 
uh, we, we definitely make things interesting around here. You know, uh, we played probably as bad as we could there in the first half, and I uh, think our defense kept us in it, and uh, we were able to get them some things going there in the second half and persevered. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty, but um, to be outright conference champions um, uh, was pretty special. It's pretty special. So proud of our team and just, just them the whole year. The significance of that accomplishment. In your third year here, we were so close to doing it two years ago, but to do it at Charleston Southern, where it is harder than normal to be the outright Big South champs, to be in contention for a national seed. Do you even recognize how hard this was? Because you're in the middle, you're going week to week. Do you recognize how hard this was and how significant this was? Well, it's a uh, when it's hard period, no, you know, no matter where you're at. But, it, um, you know, these guys, this team has been told ever since they got here, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. Uh, you're not good enough, you don't have this. And, and I think just to be able to say, hey, you know what, you can. You can accomplish great things if you um, just that you, you you put the doubters to say the naysayers and say we can accomplish uh, what we set out to. It's special. It is hard. I mean, there's there's obviously we don't have uh, some of the things that other people do, but I think that makes it more special, uh, and I think that gives these guys a lesson going forward that no matter what, no matter how bleak things look, no matter what situation you're in, you can overcome it if uh, you have great great attitude and, and believe in what you're doing. So. Um, it's a pretty special day. What was the mood at halftime? I mean, you, you kind of shot yourself in the foot. I mean, you, you were trailing, but you really could have been up by three scores. Yeah, you know what? I think it was more of, of um, nobody's upset. Nobody was throwing water or anything, of, you know, that nature. But uh, more just ticked off at ourselves because uh, we really gave them, allowed them to stay in a game when we could have had some chances there to blow them out. And uh, that's frustrating. But uh, nobody panicked. I mean, we've for the most part, we've done pretty well in the second half. And so uh, we felt like, hey, we, we've been here before, so we'll come back out and play well. And, and I thought we did. Uh, to their credit, you know, they played pretty well too um, there, and it was a good football game. But um, these guys don't get, uh, you know, over panic. Now, next Saturday they will, but, uh, uh, but right now they're, they're pretty calm. For the last two weeks, each, you know, after every win, it's like, all right, let's celebrate this, but it's on to the next one. You've met your goals. What's next? Well, hopefully, hopefully um, we can try to get healthy. Uh, hopefully we'll go have a good showing down there in Tuscaloosa uh, and you know we're going to go play to win and then as soon as we figure out when th that game is not able to win then we're going to be smart because um, you know this is a situation being in the playoffs and hopefully hopefully we've done enough to get a bye that's what our goal is to get a home seed and get a bye uh, but um, now that you're in the dance you know you want to go win the whole thing and uh, fortunately our staff has been in the D2 playoffs before so we have an understanding how it works and uh, hopefully our guys will get uh, once we get through next week, get a get a plan going and and uh, sort of start over. Now you got an even bigger goal, and um, and I know I know our guys will be excited about that.